Hello and welcome back to Survival Island, guys. Now, I've just recorded episode 19, and knowing my luck, I didn't do the overlay, because normally I hide the overlay when I'm in the video, you know, the fraps counter. And I risked it and just pressed F9, and, you know, the screen froze for a second, and I started recording, and it was awkward, and I did, like, a 20-minute episode. And, basically, when I went back afterwards, I just said goodbye, I went to check the videos there to edit it out, and lo and behold, it recorded six seconds. Because in that episode, I had made an enchantment table, and I didn't know how to make books or the enchantment table, so I looked on Google, and I loaded it up on screen, and I think what that did was it cut the recording, and I didn't realise. So I'm really sorry for that, guys. I basically just missed out a whole episode, and it was a really good episode, actually, because if I show you what I've done, we made some books, you know, we redid that a little bit, and I came down here, and this was my enchantment room. This is where... Ow. This is where I'm going to have the enchantment table and, you know, I'm going to have it all laid out down here. And it didn't record, so I'm really upset, but I hope you guys can forgive me and just understand that that does happen from time, from time to time. And that was completely my own fault for not doing what I normally do and checking that it's actually recorded before starting. So I'm, yeah, I'm deeply sorry for that, but you know, please forgive me because you know, I'm new to this YouTube thing. I haven't been doing it long and I still, look, I still make mistakes. As every YouTuber will probably say, you know, everyone makes mistakes at some point. And I would make sure that doesn't ever happen again because that sucks. And that really does suck. And we breeded the cows, as you can see. There's a lot more cows in here now. We did, like, I think we breeded them twice. And what I do want to go and do this episode, actually. Now we're, like, technically in episode 20, but we're not. We're going to extend this, like, mob area where they should be spawning in because it's not working and it sucks. How do I have two bows? Okay then. I don't know why I have two bows to be honest, but I do. Okay, maybe I'm gonna sort this out because this isn't working very well. It's clearly not big enough to spawn an absolute beastly amount of mobs in, so let's go and fix that now. Yeah, I'm really sorry guys, I can't apologise enough. I feel so bad because it was just me being lazy and just trying to speed the episodes up a little bit by not spending the first five seconds, you know, removing the fraps counter, like the FPS counter. What I did talk about in that video actually was haters, because there was someone who I'm pretty much sure I know who he was. He came on in one of my survival islands saying, you're shit. And I went and checked his channel, and lo and behold, he hadn't uploaded one video. So I was like, yep. Yeah. I replied that comment just saying, you know what, you haven't made any videos, I'd like to see you do better. Because... I don't know how someone can criticise you on your videos if they have never uploaded a video themselves. He's on two subs, it's probably just his like his mum and his dad or something sad like that. And this is someone from school and you know, I was just like, you know, fuck the haters because I don't actually care. You know, if you don't like my videos then that is your choice. But there's people out there who do enjoy them and I get comments saying that people enjoy this series and they like seeing me play Minecraft. And I know the frame per second is a little bit off and as you can see we're currently on 38 which is pretty bad and I can't really do much because my computer isn't the best okay and you know, it's not too much lag because it will be lagging for me you know when we load new chunks or we go mining there will be lag because it's loading new parts to the world but you know in the future I will look to upgrade that and I am hopefully fingers crossed getting a job soon so that will like kind of like stabilise my income a little bit more, I'll actually have money to spend instead of using my parents money or whatever or selling stuff to get money and then I can look into getting a new PC but I mean before that I do want to get the P PlayStation 4 when it comes out, I would love to get that you know PlayStation Nation Bros and I do want to discuss this on, in this video so if, you, if you're not interested in like the console wars which are currently going on then you might as well leave don't mean to sound rude but you know you probably won't enjoy this video I will be getting a PS4 now, I'm just going to go over a few reasons why I believe the PS4 is better. Now, you don't have to agree with me, you don't have to buy the PS4 the same as I will, but, you know, I'm buying it, it's pretty much set in stone now, and the reason is, one, I'm in sixth form next year, and I'm going to have a lot of exams, and, like, a car, which I want to try and get when I'm 17, I really want to get a car next summer, but I'm 16 right now, you know, I'd love to save up for a car, which means I need to get a job. Now, the Xbox is a lot of money as we all know it's 430 pounds which means they actually are overcharging the UK we are getting charged 
if you were to convert down, America have to pay $499. So, so let's say $500. And that converts down into like £360 or something. I have checked. I can't remember the exact conversion. I might put it in the description if I remember. And so yeah, basically, the UK are getting charged more for the Xbox than the US. And that is bullshit. I'm going to be straight out. That is bullshit. That is something that they, I don't even think they should be allowed to do because that is so unfair on people in the UK who want to buy the Xbox but they feel like, you know what, we're getting ripped off here. So that's my first reason why I'm buying the PS4 and why can't we get in the bed? There we go. So that's the first reason why I'm buying the PS4. Second reason, I mean some of the exclusives, I mean one of the reasons is The Last of Us. Now that will obviously be a PS3 like download thing, you download an old PS3 game, whatever. That'll be that, but I don't care, you know, The Last of Us, it looks amazing, I'm actually currently watching, check him out, MGH, he has a, he's a FIFA guy, but he has a Let's Play channel, where he does, like, different Let's Plays, he's done, like, Far Cry, and now he's doing The Last of Us, so I've been watching him, and, you know, that game just looks absolutely incredible, so, I will definitely be looking into getting that, and that's another reason which has really pushed me to the PS4. Sorry, I'm trying to gather my thoughts. I'm not very good at multitasking, you know, commentating while trying to concentrate on what I'm doing. Because I'm a bloke, so yeah, forgive me. But, yeah, and also DRM, which I believe is either the right to use, have used games or not to. Now, I believe the Xbox have changed their policy, but what they're doing is they're limiting used games. I don't know how this has worked, because I don't really give a shit anymore. So I don't ever watch anything to do with the Xbox One. I just I couldn't care less. I've already made my made my mind up that I'm buying the PS4. But at first they fucked up. You know, as we all know, at E3 they said, look, there's not going to be any used games. It's going to be you're going to have to sign in once every 24 hours onto Xbox Live. You can't. So say you went to your grandma's house or someone else's house and they didn't have internet or for whatever reason you can connect. If it was more than 24 hours, you wouldn't be allowed to play your Xbox. It would literally be just a bit of machinery which is essentially broke because you wouldn't be able to sign in. So, I mean, I think you can still watch DVDs on it, but, you know, everyone's got a DVD player or a Blu-ray player in their house or their old PS3 they could use. You know, I mean, that isn't that wouldn't even be, like, any way beneficial. So, and I think... Then Microsoft changed their policy, I don't know how long ago, a couple of days ago, a week ago, maybe at the max. And they changed that policy and they were like, look, you know, I think, I don't know, I think they were, they were like, we've listened to the community, we know that you want used games, and we're going to limit them, and, you know, we're not going to do the 24-hour check-in thing. And I was like, okay, okay, this is, this is better, you know, this would steer me to the Xbox if I hadn't already decided what I was buying. But then it was like the question of like, you know, they are... Uh, yeah, you know, I just think that Microsoft has screwed up, and I don't want to put money into them because they're taking away your consumer rights. You know, you buy that game, that game is yours. You know, when you buy your Xbox 360 game, that game is yours. You've paid money to buy that game. You know, it's yours. You can do what you want with it. And what they're doing is they're, they're taking that away. You can't do what you want with your game. You can't give it to your friend for a week for him to borrow, and then you borrow one of his games. You know, and I do that quite a lot with my friends. You know, I'm not loaded, so you know, if I want to try out, say, Dirt Showdown, which I actually have borrowed off a friend before. And they'll be like, yeah, you know, John, can I borrow Dirt Showdown? I'm not going to mention anyone's real name, but, you know, whatever. You get what I mean. And you'll be like, yeah, man, sure, and, you know, borrow his game. A week later, give it back. And that's basically what they're stopping doing, which I just think is ridiculous. I don't see how that benefits Microsoft in any such way. Because people complained, and, you know, they changed it, and they still haven't made it any better than what it was in the first place. So that's a little bit of a fail there if I'm honest, but, you know, the, the main reason is they're not loyal, and they've lost a lot of money, and, you know, Microsoft, you know Bill Gates, the bloke who, uh, what do you call it, founded Microsoft, he's loaded, you know, he's got 48 billion, now, fair play to him, he has given away that to charity, and I believe he isn't, like, directly associated with, you know, the Xbox and that, but, you know, regardless, you know, they've, they realised that, that, that they were losing the money, and because they're a business, they have to change that, now, the reason I would rather go for the PS4 is because they got it right. You know, they, they got it right first time around. They didn't mess you, you guys around. They didn't tell you stuff and then change it. They they laid out their policies and they were like, look, we're doing this. We know what our customers want. We don't have to, you know, wait to get a bad response. We, we already know that you guys want, you know, 
new game, we're going to put that in, you know, and they did that straight away, and that is, that's why Sony, I believe, will never, you know, X Microsoft will never catch up in this console war, I think they have already been outdone, now I know pre-orders, mainly, I think the main reason Microsoft changed the policies were because of the pre-orders, they were really low on release day, they were just incredibly, incredibly low, and they realised that, that, they, that if they kept it like this, they would lose a lot of money, so, you know, doing what businesses do, they changed it. And, you know, I mean, fair enough, that's, that's what businesses do, you can't, you can't complain, but what I mean is, it's just very unfair, you know, and I think, you know, they don't realise what their customers want anymore, they don't, they don't understand, and they're trying to change stuff, but it's not going to, it's not going to wash with me, you know, and I, I mean, I'll admit now, you know, the, the Xbox 360 was better than the PS3, and that, is why I have an Xbox, I did have an Xbox, you know. But I think this time around, you know, I'm I've all my loyalty to Microsoft has gone down the drain just because of the way they've treated us and you know, I was pretty much heart set in stone gonna buy the Xbox if it had been a fair price. Or if the prices had been roughly the same. But now, you know, I don't wanna be paying more than the US, you know, I want it to be fair. We live in a fair world, right? You know, human rights and that's almost taking away our human rights by making us pay more which you know in my eyes is really unfair and I wish they weren't allowed to do things like this because charging one country more than the other is almost like charging a white person more than a black person you know or the other way around sorry you know, I just think it's it's very sh shallow of Microsoft to be doing this and yeah I hope this commentary has been a little bit more like interesting because I've actually talked about a topic instead of just talking about like random Minecraft gameplay but what I'm doing here is just you know, sorting out the enchantment room, getting it ready, so when I do get the bookcases, which are going to take a while to make, by the way, we can just hop straight in, bung the enchantment table down, put the bookcases around it, and, you know, go from there. I know this looks odd, but I'll, I'll make sure it's all cobblestone or sunk in the end. But yeah, I mean, that's why I'm buying the PS4, so if you could leave in the description, what console are you buying? You know, what's the reason for buying it? Are you just a loyal Microsoft fan? You know, I was pretty loyal to Microsoft. I've had an Xbox... When I was in primary school, I was at, me and one other person had an original Xbox. No one else had it until like later years, and I've kind of I was like, yeah, you know what, Xbox is better, and I've always led by that sort of motto, Xbox is better than my Sony. But you know, I never had a PS2. I was the one, one of the only kids who didn't have a PS2, and you know now I'm just like, you know what, they fucked us over so much. I don't. I can hear signs. I can hear slimes. Can you guys hear that? That's slimes. I know that's off topic, but yeah, I'm buying the PS4, so leave in the description what you're buying and let's have a night. I let's have an argument in the comments. PS4 versus Xbox. Go. <laughs> Don't be rude, mean to each other, just you know. I believe there's like slimes, like. Oh, there's a zombie spawner down here, isn't there? And it's a slime. Oh, hey. Mate, what are you doing? Jesus Christ, boy. Oh my god. Have we got a zombie spawner or something? There's loads of them. Okay, this is this is weird. Where the zombies at? Bro, where the zombies at? I can hear you, but I don't see you, so that's weird. Oh god. You shouldn't be spawning. Oh, hey, slimes! Thank you for the slime ball. And thank you very much. And then we'll put down some more torches to stop the zombie spawning in. I'm not going to build a fire trap. So yeah. Sorry. I'm not doing that. Can't be bothered. Thank you. Uh, put a torch up there as well. Just make it look nice. Okay. No, oh, it's a spawner making so much noise. I was like, what the hell? I, thought I, could, I knew I could hear a slime. But yeah, it's another slime ball. Maybe for sticky pistons or something in the future, we've got some slime balls, which is awesome. Okay, yeah, so, you know, that's basically what I think about the PS4. I don't, I'm not saying that Microsoft are shit, or, you know, I hate them, but I don't agree with what they're doing, and I'm not going to be behind their console for that reason, so yeah. I hope you guys can understand that and see it as sort of like a valid point, because I feel that's a, what I've made is a very valid point, you know, I want to play used games from time to time, you know, they are cheaper, and single-player games like Skyrim or something, you know, they're good to just to buy pre-owned, because... 
you know, you're paying less and you're not playing online, it's generally an online pass or anything. I don't know if Skyrim is an, is an online game actually, you know, I don't know a word for that, I don't actually play Skyrim. Although I did recently buy it, so, you know, I may be playing it soon. And what I'll do just to finish the episode is go and make a book. And also another question, so also leave in the description what country you're buying and does this, any Minecraft Pro, does this actually block like a skeleton shooting you? If you go like that, you know, if you go like, yeah, does that like defend you in any way? I've always wanted to know and I never have asked. And we've got a chest here, we've got, right, let's just see. No, we've got a chest. Okay, um, slime ball, we've got four slime balls now, which is pretty awesome. That's good that there's a slime chunk down there, that's actually going to come in handy a lot. And we've got seven sugar canes. So what we'll do with that is convert it into books. Like that. And then we need some leather. And leather is there. So what we'll do is get that. And then like oh god. Like that. And then that. Oh we need two leather. That and we go boom. That's another two books. We've got five now, so that's awesome. Do we put any books in here? No, it's gonna leave the books. Like there, uh, put the iron in there as well. We don't really need dirt on us, to be honest. So we'll put that in there. I don't think we need the wood anymore. We don't. We only will use that bow because it's the one with less health. Actually, we'll leave the other bow in there just in case we do need it. We'll go and plant that seed now, and we're going to put the enchantment table down, and then we will finish the episode, I believe. Okay, where are we going to put the enchantment table? I oh, know it's got to be placed pretty. Specifically, you know, there. I think that'll work. Okay. Right, we need some food as well. So, have we got any wheat we could harvest quickly? Is that working? Nope. I don't know what's going on there. Can someone tell me am I doing something wrong? Please. I'm just like, why aren't you working? Oh, for God's sake. Every time. Why well, have I got a stone sword? That just makes no sense, to be honest. Look at that. Finally! Oh, I didn't even have to free. There we go. Finally getting somewhere like that. Oh my god, it's growing again! It happens every time when I'm about to finish the episode, and what happens? The sugar cane decides to grow again. Screw life! We've got one wheat, which is not enough. Right, what I'm going to do is kill a few cows, because I do need some food. NGL. Let's slaughter a few of these. Thank you very much. Six beef, is that it? Okay. I know the cows aren't getting that big, so I have to keep killing them because I don't actually have any food, so... Right, screw you, we're not coming to collect you. Oh, we could actually do with collecting that. I think there's, I think there's a spare in here. Is there a spare in here? Oh, for God's sake. <clears throat> I don't want to go back and bloody get it. Oh god, we're on one bar hunger. Whoop. Making books is more important than feeding myself. Okay then. No, it still isn't working. All we'll I do is bung this in the furnace because we are so low on food, you know. There's obviously, we had to spawn the cows in ourselves when we first made the world because there wasn't any animals, obviously, so. I mean, I just did that, guys, just to make the series more entertaining, you know. It would be really boring if I just kept dying of hunger. Because I want to go on adventures and stuff as well. I don't want to be just, like, you know, staying in here. Not go. I want to get, like, loads of food together and just go on a massive adventure and, like, mine, like, 20 diamonds or something, you know. And I can't really do that until we've done it. Okay, we've got some meat. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. It's been another great episode. I'm not too sure how long this episode's been. I'm really sorry that episode, the original episode, messed up. But I hope you've like you've enjoyed what I've made, and you know, we've got the enchantment table pretty much sorted now. So next episode, we'll just I'll try and think of something to do. I'll try and actually think of it. And I'll try and think of another commentary topic as well because I hope that makes the commentary you know a little bit more entertaining. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.